Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Amilcar. How are you doing? I'm fine. Awesome. Hello, Orlen. How are you doing? What? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm talking to Arlen. Okay. I don't know if she's here. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Yeah. Are we going to start a new topic today? Yes, we will. Uh, we will cover today section. Let me tell you what section. Okay. What's the matter? The topic for today is section number 2.3 um, about illnesses. You okay. already cover. Yes. Um, you should, you are expected, let's, let's say to start this, uh, this topic um, last week or today, because by Friday, you have to do the midterm exam. So we will continue with section number two. Last week, we, uh, we closed section number one. About but, the... yes. Mm -hmm. no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm That's sorry to interrupt you. Last week we, we saw uh, the topic uh, going through. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is I correct. To understand a new topic. That's correct. Uh, you already covered. Let let's say Friday. Last Friday we covered going to. So this week we will cover illnesses. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty pretty interesting topic because um, you will be able how to explain to somebody. Uh, when you have an, an, an illness or an injury or an ache. However, I don't know if you, uh, if you would like to review the going to tense. What if you're having, yeah, because I would like, well, it's already time. So welcome everybody. Uh, in the meantime that everybody joins, uh, I'm gonna uh, ask you if you would like to if you would like me to help you with any section from the from the platform, if you have any, if do, if do you have any questions regarding the um, the knowledge checks, how are you doing with the platform, guys? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? I have been in the, the first part. Okay. The first one. Okay. Okay. And uh, everything good so far? Good. Okay, then perfect. What about the rest? Juan and, and Arlen. Hello. Hello. Hello, Arlen. Hi, good evening. Hi. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. No problem, you're welcome. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yes. How are you doing with the with the platform? Have you already finished section number one? Uh, 1.11. Ah, okay, de acuerdo. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, then. What about the rest? Juan, Mayoret, Dennis? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Dennis. How are you doing? How are you today? Sure. All right then, perfect. How are you doing with the platform? Have you already finished section number one? 
Uh, yes, yes, teacher. All right then, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, remember that as I mentioned last week that uh, you can uh, you can complete as many topics as you would like to, right? So um, if you want to finish section of the whole platform, you can do it. Just give me a minute that somebody's asking for the link on the on the chat. Let me just share that real quick. Okay. Perfect then. Okay, sorry. Uh, alguien estaba pidiendo el enlace para, para la llamada. Okay, ya me envié. So perfect guys. Thank you very much. As I as I, as I was saying, uh, you can you can complete as many sections as, sections as you want in the platform, right? Um, just remember that you have to finish um, the midterm exam this coming Friday, right? Tenemos, eh, tienen que hacer el examen de medio curso eh, este viernes, tiene que quedar completo. Si ustedes ya lo hicieron, no se preocupen, como les he mencionado, pueden eh, adelantar todo lo que ustedes quieran, ¿verdad? Porque es de acuerdo a su tiempo. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. Yes, no, all right, thank you, Dennis. So uh, before we continue with the class, uh, Amilcar was mentioning um, that we already covered section number one last week, right? Uh, the last topic we covered is going to, oh, I'm sorry, it was, it was going to, right? So this week will be a new topic, but before we continue with this new topic, I would like to know if you have any questions from the platform, or from the topics we covered last week. Tienen alguna pregunta con los temas que cubrimos la semana pasada o de la plataforma? Algún tema de la plataforma en específico? Everything is okay. Okay then, perfect. Thank you, Jorge. What about the rest? Everything good? Hello. Hi, Astrid. How are you doing? I'm great. Awesome. How are you doing with the platform? Do you have any questions about the platform, about the mm. topics? No, no, for the moment. Okay, then. Perfect. In any case, if you have any, just don't hesitate to ask, all right? All right. Well, guys, in case you have any questions, you already know that you can uh, contact me on my um, on my message, messages from WhatsApp. So in this case, we will start with the class. Um, today will be a little bit different. You will learn more vocabulary, all right, in the platform. That is, let me show you real quick, the platform. Okay, so this is uh, section 2.3, have, noun, or, feel, plus adjective, and the conversation, right? Here, it gives you negative um, adjectives and positive adjectives. Just before we continue, guys, do you remember what is an adjective? Who can tell me what is an adjective? En sus propias palabras, díganme, ¿qué es un adjetivo? Excuse me, I don't see it. Uh... You don't see the... I no, no, I don't watch it. Okay. But let uh, but, me see. Yeah, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, then. Awesome. Jorge, by the way, can you tell me what is an adjective? Or with your own words, con sus propias palabras, dígame. ¿Qué entiende usted que es un adjetivo? Say again, what? Uh, what? Uh, do you know what is an adjective? Adjective? Okay. Adjetivo. Yes. That's correct, yes. Es un adjetivo. It is the, um, the qualify the, the number or thing. That is correct. Uh, I mean, yes, it qualifies the noun or, or the person or the thing, right? But in another words, guys, so it's easier for you to remember, para que sea más fácil para ustedes recordar, the adjective gives more information, right? I mean, it describes, right? Describe. Describe al sujeto, sí o no. Y el sujeto puede hacer cualquier yeah. cosa, right? It can be it can be a person, it can be a dog, 
it can be a building, even you can describe the platform, right? For example, how is the platform? The platform is pretty easy to use. Diga a su mamá que ella es la que va a compartir con los chicos. Yo estoy fundido, dígale. All right, so uh, the, you can use the adjectives to describe something, to give more information, right? What's For the example, matter? That's correct. For example, right now, uh, if you describe yourself, how would you describe yourself? For example, I'm using, um, I'm using a, a, a black um, jacket, right? With a, with a gray shirt, right? And let's see, for example, my, uh, my background is from a beach, right? <laughs> if you're seeing, I'm not at home right now, guys. So I can, can you describe my background? What can you tell me about the background I have right now? Back up. Uh, el, el fondo que tengo de mi, pan, de mi, eh, de mi cámara. Ya se fijaron que no estoy en mi casa. Estoy en la playa ahorita. Summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct, summer, right? Summer. Mm -hmm. That's correct. What can you describe from that beach, right? If, mm -hmm. if I get out from the... ¿Qué describirían de la playa que ven? I can see a palm. That's correct. Uh, yes. Can you describe can the palm tree? Uh, ¿Me is, puede describir la palma? Uh -huh. Is green. Yes. Is delgado. Slim. Uh, slim or thin. Any of okay. both. Yes. And, and it's is, tall, right? It's tall, uh -huh. That's correct. You see, you just gave me three adjectives and that's it, right? The sky is beautiful. That's correct. The sky is beautiful, right? This one that is here. Uh, beautiful is an adjective, all right? Hermoso es un adjetivo. Porque me está describiendo que es, right? Yes, it gives more information, pero para que sea más fácil de acordarse, guys, recuerden que el adjetivo describe al pronombre, y el pronombre puede ser cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? puede ser una persona, un edificio, un animal, eh, cosas tangibles e intangibles, ¿sí o no? Uh, yes. yes, yes, yes. That's correct. The beach right. is uh, peaceful. The beach is what, I'm sorry? Peaceful. That's uh, correct, that's correct. The beach can be peaceful, right? You, you just, just go there to relax, right? To uh, de-stress, right? So there you go, perfect, perfect. Now that we know what is an adjective, well, you already knew it, right? We just refresh it, we re review it, right? Ya sabían, solo lo refrescamos. Vamos a ver esto rapidito y les voy a enseñar siete nuevas palabras este día acerca de las enfermedades, all right? Pero vamos a ver el video primero. ¿Me pueden decir si escuchan el video? Hi everyone, in this class. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Perfect. Okay, so let's go over the video so we know what, we're, what we will uh, cover today. All right, let's go. You'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. 
Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put half. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula, subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel, finally we need to put an adjective, homesick, or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful. Terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using half plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. So pretty much uh, about um, half of you already covered this one, this, um, this topic about have plus noun and feel plus adjective. So today, and also you saw the, um, the positive, um, positive adjectives, right? And, and, and negative adjectives too. So what I would like to show you, it's seven ache. Um, do you know by any chance, guys, what is an ache? Let me write it down here. Well, before you do it, let me show you, all right? So I'm gonna share my screen with you, all right? And here I have a PPT. All right, let me just fix this real quick. All right. Yes. So, do you know what is an ache, guys? Do you have any idea? Let me give you, let me give you an example first. For example, headache. All right? Oops. Headache. All right? Do you know what is a headache? Hello? I don't know if you can hear me, guys. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, okay, yes. sorry. Pensé, es que me salió un mensaje acá que la conexión yes. estaba inestable y me preocupé. Okay, gracias. So, ¿saben, guys, qué significa ache? ¿A qué se le viene la cabeza? Eh, ahorita no se preocupen sin temor a equivocarse, guys. ¿Qué creen que significa ache? En sus propias palabras. Dolor. Ah, dolor. Perfecto, perfecto. Dolor. A es dolor. Y como alguien dijo, no me fijé quién, lo siento, headache es dolor de cabeza. ¿Sí? 
All right. Entonces, vamos a tener en la mente que ache significa dolor de cabeza. All right. Y les voy a mostrar los diferentes tipos de dolores que hay. Ahora, guys, ache no se puede utilizar para todos los tipos de dolores. Sí, solamente son siete donde ustedes pueden eh, decir, agregar ese sufijo. All right. Porque ese es un sufijo. Va después del noun. All right. Va después del noun y no se agrega con todos los dolores. Solo son siete. ¿Quién me puede leer, ayudar a leer el primer parrafito? Raise your hand. You probably mm. know the word ache. Mm -hmm. It can be a verb or a noun. It means to hurt or pain. Perfect. Así como ustedes me lo dijeron, ¿verdad? Significa, alguien me dijo dolor. Exacto. Dolor o que duele algo, right? ¿Quién me puede ayudar a leer la segun, el segundo párrafo? Ah, vamos a ver. Juan Campos, ¿está por ahí? Yes, teacher. Hello. Hello, Juan. Tell me. Okay. Uh, we sometimes combine the word age with parts of the body. For example, if our back hurts, we say that we have breakage or a breakage. That's correct. So sometimes we combine the word, right? Algunas veces vamos a combinar esa palabrita con partes del cuerpo, right? For example, if our back, la espalda, ¿verdad? Back hurts, we say that we have a backache or, uh, sorry, that we have backache or a backache, right? Este, guys, recuerden que se pronuncia ache. Como esta, es como que digan así. Ache. All right? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahorita? Yes. Ok. Thank you. All right. Es que también calladito soy. Quizás porque es luna, ¿verdad? All right. So, ache, si lo pronuncian así. Ache. All right. For example, the last one, it says, we don't do this with all parts of the body, como les mencioné. No hacemos esto con todas las partes del cuerpo. For example, we cannot say that we have a hand ache, right? No podemos decir que, que nos duele la mano y agregarle el sufijo ache. We just say that our hand hurts. Se los voy a escribir por acá. ¿Cómo decimos que nos duele la mano? For example, si yo lo voy a decir, voy a decir my hand hurts. All right. Y agregamos la S porque en este caso, como estamos hablando de mi mano, se considera una tercera persona. All right. Y se recuerdan que para el verbo, en tercera persona se le agrega la S. Right? right. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. So, so far so good. Hasta ahorita vamos bien con la explicación. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's continue with the seven words that I mentioned. Les vamos a... Le voy a presentar las siete palabritas que les mencioné. All right. So there are only five parts of the body we can combine ache. Solo hay cinco partes del cuerpo en donde podemos combinar la palabra ache. Y son las que tengo acá abajo. Se las voy a resaltar. Denme un momento. Sería, vamos a ponerlo con este colorcito. Right. We have backache. Ya le, ya le vamos a practicar. Right. Solo la voy a decir ahorita. Backache, earache, headache, stomachache, and toothache. Right? Estas son las únicas cinco partes del cuerpo que podemos agregarles ese sufijo. Estas otras cinco, guys, déjenme borrar esto que no se entiende acá. All right? Estas otras cinco son idiomatic expressions. All right? Estas cinco son expresiones idiomáticas. ¿Por qué? Por ejemplo, tenemos acá heartache. We don't use this when we mean physical pain in the heart, right? Si nos referimos físicamente al dolor físico del corazón, decimos that our heart hurts. Heartache nos referimos a un dolor emocional, all right? For example, um, no sé si han escuchado la expresión heartbroken. Sobre todo en canciones de despecho van a escuchar esta palabra. 
So heartbroken es un sinónimo, por decirlo así, corazón. de heartache, right? Como el corazón roto. Es un dolor emocional, no físico. All right? So far so good con uh, heartache. Yes. All right. So let's go with the next one. We have face ache. This one, it's actually, I don't recommend it using it, but uh, because when you refer uh, with this vein to somebody, all right? Esta no la recomiendo usar porque se utiliza sobre todo para decir algo malo de otra persona, pero es bueno que la conozcan, right? Because face ache means that uh, you refer to somebody being ugly or miserable looking person, right? So, cuando quieren decir eh, que alguien es feo, poco agradable, decimos face ache, right? So, se las muestro, but, but please don't use it, right? Por favor, no lo utilicen, all right? Para dolores físicos, guys, solo tenemos estas cinco, all right? So, repeat after me. No es necesario que encienda el, el micrófono, pero si lo quieren hacer, es bienvenido. All right? So, are you ready? ¿Listos? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So, first one, esta. Backache. 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 Earache. 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 Ache. Con K. Ache. 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 Perfect. Headache. 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 Perfect. Headache. Stomach ache. Stomach, 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 cake. Cake. stomach cake. And stomach food cake. Ache. Food food ache. Ache. Perfect. So, have you ever had any of these pains, guys? Any of these aches? ¿Ya les ha dado algún tipo de estos dolores? ¿O todos, probablemente? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. right? Yeah. Sometimes we have a headache when, uh, when for example, uh, you've been at work your, the whole day, right? So, and, and it's been very hot, uh, I get a headache, all right? What about you guys? Who can give me an example? Give me a example. Yes. When I have a lot of, when I have a lot of homework and I use ¿O suelo tener? Yes, I use. How do you say? I, I used, used to. Uh, I, uh -huh. I used to have it. Oh, when you yeah. have a lot of work. Yes. All right. Yes, Ajá, that's tarea. correct. Ajá, <laughs> cabal. Exacto. Cuando tenemos muchas tareas o trabajo, most of the time we, we get a headache, right? Because it's mm -hmm. too much pressure, right? As la presión a veces es bastante grande. ¿Qué tal los demás? ¿Ya han tenido eh, a Jerek o cualquier otro de esos eh, dolencias, por decirlo así? Who can give me an example? Mm -hmm. lo voy a, en lo que ustedes me dan un ejemplo, les voy a poner a la par eh, el significado en español, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, acá está. So, for example, um, Sometimes I get a stomach ache when I eat something that is not good for my health, right? Cuando a veces tenemos dolor de estómago es porque comemos algo que, que no nos cae bien o está arruinado, right? An earache can, you can have it pretty much for anything and backache too. For example, if you don't, if you don't sit well, right? Si no nos sentamos bien, vamos a tener dolores de espalda, right? So, 
it can it can be pretty much anything all right so the practice for today guys is that i would like you to let's quiero que practiquemos este nuevo vocabulario right cuántos de ustedes ya conocían estas cinco nuevas palabras o por lo menos una what i don't understand oh it's okay uh were you familiar with these five words that i just showed you ¿Ya están familiarizados con estas cinco palabras que les acabo de enseñar? Yes. 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 All right then. No. Yes, teacher. Ok. Está bien. Eh, escucho sí y no. Entonces no se preocupe. Yes. All right. So what I want you to do right now, um, I'm going to stop sharing. Les voy a enviar en lo que ustedes practican, en la presentación. También les voy a enviar esta um, anotación. Permítanme. All right. So, give me a moment. Okay, so we will, we have, we still have 30 minutes for you to practice. We will practice el have y el feel, right? Do you remember? Se recuerden el have y el feel, right? Yes. All right then. So what I want you to do is to make sentences. You will, uh, I will divide you by groups again, all right? There will be three participants each, each group, all right? Van a haber tres participantes por grupo para que cada uno se haga preguntas y que respondan con el vocabulario que acabamos de ver. Y si ustedes conocen más vocabulario, mucho que mejor, all right? Vamos a hacer, van a contestar con el have plus noun, o si no, con el feel, plus adjective, all right? So far, so good? Are we okay? Estamos bien con la explicación? Okay, yes, then. for example, how do you feel? Yes, perfect. How do you feel? <laughs> y la otra persona va a decir, ah, I feel tired, I right? Feel. Me siento cansada de trabajar hoy, right? So that's correct. That's <laughs> a perfect example, Astrid. So right yes, now, I'm gonna... Yes. Where is the where is the second que, question? Uh, you can yeah. use any double H. Puede ocupar cualquier ah, pregunta okay. con doble H. Uh -huh. What, where, how. Pero si vamos a preguntar cómo se siente la otra persona, sería what and how. What? Right? Uh -huh. okay. right. Por ejemplo, el what, what's the matter? Le preguntan a la gente. O oh, what's wrong? ¿Qué te pasa? Ah, uh, y ya le responde la otra persona. I have, I have a headache, right? Because it's been too busy today. Tengo un dolor de cabeza porque ha estado bien ocupado en el trabajo, right? Entonces, pueden contestar con cualquiera de las dos. Uh, perdón, pueden preguntar, lo siento, con cualquiera de las dos. What and how? For example, what, what's the matter, right? Uh, ¿Qué pasa? Or uh, what's wrong, si quieren utilizar el what, right? Pero si quieren utilizar el how, podemos preguntar uh, how are you, ¿verdad? Como las preguntas que yo les hago cuando comienza la clase. O si no, how do you feel, right? Pueden utilizar cualquiera de esas. Más el vocabulario que acabamos de ver del video y el que les enseñé. ¿Sí? Les enviaría la imagen más la presentación en lo que ustedes están en la práctica. All right? Bueno, veo que sí, que sí estamos bastante bien. Les voy a enviar la invitación, por favor, yes. acepten. Thank you.
Hello, guys. I don't know if you received the invitation to join the, the group. No sé si recibieron la invitación para unirse a los grupos, a la sección de grupos. Jorge, uh, Francisco, Lila. Hola, hola. Jorge, Lila. <laughs> yeah. Are you busy today? <laughs> Juan. Hello, hi. How do you feel? I feel fantastic today um, because, uh, no, but I feel tired and for uh, busy today for the work. Harleen. Okay. And you, Major, how do you feel? Okay. Hi, Adeline. Tired for from work. Okay, okay. Ah, este, hi, Arlene. Hi, Juan Carlos. Juan Campos. <laughs> <laughs> ya me cambié el nombre. <laughs> es, eh, how are you, Arlene? <laughs> Fine, thank you. <laughs> and you? <laughs> mm. I feel fantastic. good. I go, <laughs> ah, fantastic. <laughs> it's a good phrase. <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> ah. mm. What do you do when, when you are sick? I feel uh, sleepy. <laughs> it's a medicine. It's, it's, it's the best medicine. 
okay that that sound uh, very very excellent <laughs> okay but it's it's good to see a doctor too and to check our health okay marcelo uh, what happened with your family uh are they are they uh, good health Tienen buena salud sus su familia. Okay. Fire. Um, my father, my father, uh, arrived tired uh, for uh, the war. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. And I hope you feel better soon. Um, your family is is good too. It's it's fine. Are fine. Okay. Um, Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, Dennis? How do you feel, Amilcar? Excellent. Uh, I feel, uh, right now, I feel, I feel good. I feel so good. I have an ache. Oh. Uh, for the moment, I I am very well. Thanks to God. Okay. Only sometimes I I'm um, a little tired because every day I work very hard. You can take yes two one pill. Teacher, the visit the group. Yes, I recommend that you take pill. Okay, after about. Um, how do you say gripe? Full, 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 okay, or, or flu, flu. Flu, flu, flu. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Y así como se, así como se, se escucha, se escribe, verdad? In, in this case, yes, flu, F L U, um, gripe, tos, is, uh -huh. cough, cough. Cough, 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 
I see temperature. Yes, temperature. Yes, can you do it? Yes. Okay, temperature. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Temperature. Mm. Sometimes girls and boys, <laughs> uh, children, children usually get get sick. How do you say? How do you say? Son son más propensos o son más vulnerables? Uh, puede ser de dos maneras. Ah, exacto. They are more vulnerable or they tend to get sick. Se lo voy a poner en el chat. Ah, ok. Sí. Mm, they are more vulnerable for, for this. For these diseases, enfermedades. Yes, puede decirlo uh, diseases or illnesses. So, le voy a escribir. Ah, le voy a escribir las dos también. Diseases or illnesses. Okay. Diseases or illnesses. Ah, serían doble L I I L L meses illnesses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Illnesses. Illnesses. Mm -hmm. This That's is for illnesses. Uh, it's, my, it's, it's more, it's more, easier, easier, they are more vulnerable. They, and they, they tend to get sick easier. <laughs> Sí, se ve que huevo sí, pero que sí, pero fresco no. Practicing more. <laughs> yes, guys, practice. Sí, y sí, y sí. ¿Cómo se dice eh, que se siente mareado o con ganas de vomitar? Con náuseas. Ah, uh, náuseas se escribe igual, pero le dice uh -huh. uh, nausea. Pero lo escribí igual. No, no. Ah, y no, ya, la acción, ya la acción de vomitar se dice throw up. Throw. Se lo puede escribir en el chat también. Throw up. Mm. 
Metro Ocho. Yes. Throw up pronunciation. The throw up. Throw, uh -huh, throw exactly. Up. Throw up. Throw. Yeah, es throw la up. acción. Uh -huh. Y up. nauseous es, se escribe igual. Pero se pronuncia mm. nausea. Uh -huh. Y digamos, nausea mm. es solo la, el malestar. Ya lo otro ya es la acción. Y mareos. Mareo. Mareo es dizzy, exacto. Dizzy, uh, easy, mareo es dizziness. Dizzy. Dizzy, exacto. Dizzy. 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 Okay, in my case, in my case, yes, but I have, I have, I have, Dizzy. Uh -huh. Oh, mm -hmm. I feel it's dizzy. Correct. Yes, uh, I feel I dizzy. Feel, I feel. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes. I feel dizzy in in letter. I I feel uh, uh, um, sometimes I I felt, I felt back back pain. Okay. okay. Perfect. I mean, per, I mean, perfect the sentence. <laughs> but, but use the vocabulary teacher. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and tomorrow, <laughs> I think I I am I'm, I am going to I'm going to seek. Ajá, bueno, si quiere decir que mañana, que mañana se va a sentir mal. Yeah. Bueno, no sabemos, pero digamos que sí sabemos. Tomorrow I will feel sick. Uh, tomorrow I will, I, will, I, will, I will feel sick. Yes. O el sick lo puede cambiar. ¿Por qué cree usted que es lo que va a sentir? I will, uh, I will feel dizzy. Or I will feel, um, I yes, don't know, yes. any other adjective. Uh -huh, nauseous, that's correct. Nauseous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for um, it's indispensable. It's in, oh, it's necessary. Yes, exactly. It's necessary. It's necessary The uh, some people be, some people care. Se cuiden. Se cuiden. Mm -hmm. It's necessary that some people um, take care of each other. Take okay. Ah, que se cuiden ellos solitos. Uh -huh. O que cuiden a alguien más. No, que se cuiden de las de, de la enfermedades, por ejemplo. Ah, right. ah, pues está bien. Uh, it's necessary that people. Lo voy a poner aquí. It's necessary that people take care of themselves. Que se cuiden a ellos mismos. ¿De qué? Of any illnesses. Right. Uh -huh. It's necessary that people take care of any illnesses. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Themselves, it's it's a mirror or sorry. No, no, escuché. Perdón. Cinco minutos. Yes, cinco. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, guys. No sé qué pasó. Por un momentito se desconectó. No le escuché la pregunta. Sorry. Oh, no. Themselves, what is it Themselves. Oh, perdón. Themselves. Uh, uh, sí. 
uh -huh, themselves es como que usted diga ellos mismos. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Yes. Les, les puedo enseñar mañana eso también porque es bastante importante. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, of my, myself, um, themselves, uh, herself, y, y lo podemos practicar mañana. Pero sí, por el momento, mm -hmm. themselves es como que diga ellos mismos. Ellos se deben cuidar de oh, ellos mismos. Okay, okay. Yes. Ok, voy a ir a visitar otro grupito antes de que regresemos. All right, cualquier Thanks. cosa me avisen. Thanks. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hello, guys. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Ya lograron practicar? Hello, hello. ¿Están por acá? Juan Carlos y Elvin. Hello, Juan Carlos, Elvi, ¿están por acá? Hello guys, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Lograron practicar? Yes. Okay, then perfect. Yes, so amazing. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, in that case, let's go back. Eh, vamos a regresar, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's go back. Okay. Hi. Hello. We are here again. <laughs> yes, we are here again. How was it? Como les fue, guys? Nice. It was very nice. nice. Speaking with, with, with our, our classmates. That's correct. It's good. It's good to practice, right? That's the reason why I leave you at least 30 minutes so you can do it, right? Because the point, uh, it's not only to you to get the knowledge, right? No solo es obtener el conocimiento, lo tenemos que practicar también, all right? 
So, so you can get better at it. Para que podamos mejorar. Bueno, y me alegra. Eh, eh, fui por todos los grupos. I was able to go over all the groups. I was able to listen to you practice. And you're doing pretty well, guys. You understood the instructions and you understood what you needed to do. But most important thing, you were able to answer the questions. All right? Lo más importante es que pudieron responder las preguntas de sus compañeros. All right? And it's good also to share. To share information, right? Es bueno, es bueno. Compartir información. Siempre se aprende algo nuevo. Yo aprendo algo nuevo todos los días. All right? So, guys, uh, do you have any questions before I let you go? ¿Tienen alguna preguntita antes de que terminemos la clase? Teacher, how do you feel? <laughs> ah, thank you for asking, Astrid. Well, I'm feeling, I'm feeling tired, but I'm, I'm feeling, feeling happy. <laughs> yes. I'm feeling tired, but happy that I got to see you again today. Soy cansada, pero estoy feliz de haberlo visto de nuevo. Yes, I, I feel you tired. I'm very happy because you are on the beach. That is correct. That's that's my secret, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> I'm on the beach right now. Relax. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm relaxed right now. I'm in Hawaii. Relax. I'm imagining okay. myself in Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> that's correct. Thank you very much, okay. Emilker and Astrid. So, if there are no other questions, guys, uh, by the way, uh, tomorrow we will practice uh, some tenses about themselves, herself, uh, myself, right? Vamos a practicar eso. Eso sería algo extra de la plataforma. Esto no es una plataforma. Pero es bueno que lo sepan también, hablar de uno mismo, yes. right? Hey. Entonces, lo vamos a ver mañana por si ustedes quieren averiguar, bienvenido sea. Pero de todas maneras, lo vamos a ver el día de mañana, ¿ok? Teacher. Dígame. I will want to speak uh, about uh, the pain. You would like to practice more tomorrow? Because ¿Les gustaría practicar uh, más esta mañana? Yes, because uh, eight is, is another way to, to say that we, we have a heart. But That's pain correct. It's another part of the body. There are just five parts of the body. Uh, we can go over that tomorrow again. Si gustan, podemos revisarlo de nuevo mañana más despacito, ¿ok? Yes. Ya mañana ya no veríamos el video. Exacto, ya mañana ya no veríamos el video, solo nos, queríamos, nos quedaríamos con, la AIDS, con los dolores. Perfect, guys. So, in that case, I hope you see you tomorrow. It's already time. And I'm happy that I got to see you and hear you again. And take care, guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, take care. Bye. Good night. Bye, take care. Bye. Okay, you too. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.